Hey guys, I am back again with another video. And today's video is what well, is the queen of the of the monsters, mate of Godzilla, and most definitely the most psychopathic between the two. <sighs> Basie the Ying to Godzilla to Crystal Godzilla's Yang. Kyra. Who is basically a freaking Who is basically the definition of a psychopathic Ghidorah. Yes, that's what she is. That is later her species. Although you may see her, although you guys may see she only has one head. And trust me. And trust me, guys. You're gonna find out in a bit how how this happened. But let's go ahead and go with her height. Her height first, because her height is actually around 100. 100 and surprisingly, well, 160 meters meters tall. Yeah, she easily dwarfs Legendary Ghidorah. And actually does dwarf her mate. Who stands at a height of around 146 meters tall. Yeah, I changed the height on this because I'm reading this. Because uh, I'm not going to I'm not going to spoil it. But yeah, she she is huge. Straight out bigger than her own mate. Now, person her age she's actually a little young. She's actually a little bit younger than her mate actually. But her abilities speaks for itself. I mean, not abilities. Her personality. She is. Uh, how I put this. Kind of bit of a self, a psychopath. What I mean by that is. She will actually not has. Show no hesitation on killing her prey. Or killing her opponent. No mercy, no nothing. Kind of like the traits of Legendary Ghidorah. She has no... She will show no mercy, no remorse. And at... And also... Delight on the pain of... Of... Hurting other people. Or hurting other monsters. Mainly those who... Mainly those she does not like. So yeah, Crystal Godzilla has a freaking wild one. Sorry, Godzilla has a wild mate. Or the sociopath... As a psycho for a mate. Now... Now, unlike her mate, who can leave, whose hits can leave, whose well, hit speeds, like actually the, like the speed of the punch. Unlike his, who can move at the speed of sound. She can actually fly in the speed of sound. Not does that. Not does that. She's actually. Not that that she is actually able to carry Godzilla Earth. Yes, you heard me right. This monster, with no effort, is is able to pick up Space Godzilla, who's freaking heavier, who is one of the heaviest kaiju. Keep in mind, I'm not including the mechas. 
and heaviest kaiju, one of, in the whole Godzilla, in the whole Godzilla fan base. You know, in the whole Godzilla community. Like, as we all know. He's able to pick up Godzilla Earth, Legend of Ghidorah, Space Godzilla, Destroyer, and even her mate who actually weighs a little bit hip, who does not weigh that much. And funny thing is, she actually does a she actually does weigh eighty eight hundred ninety ninety thousand metric one well, no ninety million metric tons. Can you imagine that much weight? But ninety thousand metric tons being crushed on you. That is pretty much crazy. Alright now let's go over her off her parents and her offsprings. Now this is known about her mother. But what we do know that it now what they do know is her father is actually Deaf Ghidorah. Which explains the psychopath with like ten tendencies. He does have a she does have a brother who is no who's not in the picture and she does have an uncle that being guard that being Star Star Ghidorah. Who they took his son and lay left who they took it, her brother and left with him because, well, they do not want to be around psychopaths. It's for obvious reasons. But it, but it still did not stop like Kyra, actually find a mate and friends. And of course, this mate, and of course, this mate of hers is obviously Crystal God is obviously the Crystal versus Godzilla. <sighs> so yeah. Her her offsprings are obviously Dagon, Celine, Star, and her son Gabriel. Like I said, like I said, those are literally the names of them. All right, let's go over appearance real quick before we actually do abilities. I didn't mention Crystal Godzilla's appearance. I didn't mention Crystal Godzilla's appearance, so I'm going to say it real quick. His appearance actually looks like Godzilla Final Wars. Mixed in with Heisei Godzilla. And a bit of Shin Godzilla. What? Well, yeah, basically some traits from Shin Godzilla as well. And Zill 1998 and GMK Godzilla Dorsal Spines. And Hell Godzilla Dorsal Spines as well. Let's say that. Sorry, guys. <sighs> But her design, but her design was actually, she actually looks like a giant hybrid between Drogon from Game of Thrones, Smog, and Legendary Ghidorah. Funny thing, what happened to the two other heads? It's pretty, was pretty dumb in my opinion. Because I literally thought about this yesterday, and I thought this was pretty dumb. How she lost her heads is pretty embarrassing. She lost her heads because she got hungry. Like I said, she lost her heads 
when she got hungry and her father has to colorize has to colorize the wound. I hope I said that right. If I did if I didn't this go this don't read correct me guys. Recreate me in the comments below if I did not say colorize right. Like colorize the wounds. Yeah, that's what he did. And that's how you could show. Even as a child, she is still a psychopath. Unfortunately, both her and her father does not have the same regeneration as legendary Ghidorah, sadly. Well, she does, but I honestly... No one does not know how does her head to not regenerate. But yeah, you guys know she's also black and red in color as well. Now her abilities are as followed. Gravity beams, anti-gravity beams, able to to siphon the light from other planets, from from, ugh, from plant life, regeneration, cosmic storms, fire breath, energy absorption. Uh, gravity tor- No, not gravity tornado. Uh, what was the other one? Oh, yeah. Alpha call. Lightning manipulation. And, and blue flame manipulation. Those are literally her abilities. And what the blue flames are is pretty damn scary. If you see the tips of her wings glowing blue, get the hell out of there. Like when I mean get the hell out of there, I mean get the absolute hell out of there. Cause that is the sign of death right there. Because Ghidorah, I mean no. Because no other Ghidorah can do this ability. Not even Sundora. If you guys do not know who Sundora is, that is going to be King Ghidorah 2003's new Crystal Kaiju OC. But I'll get to them once I'm done with Crystal Godzilla's family members. Mainly his father, mother, uncle, and then grandfather, and, and also his kids next. And his siblings. But yeah, as I was about to say, if the tips of her wings end up glowing blue, she will actually clap them, she will clap them together just to send a freaking wave of blue flames just to go burn you to ash. And these flames will actually melt you to the bone. When I said to the bone, I mean the bone. And that is pretty scary on it in itself though too. And just to be clear, she is not And she is bigger she is more scarier than God's than Crystal Godzilla goes to show I mean the the monster the Titan Kingdom does not the monster kingdom does not fear Crystal Godzilla for a reason not just because he's the son of a morning star but he's also the but he's also the the mate of the most murderous Ghidorahs ever And there are little temples for her too. That's why she is also nicknamed as the Blue Death. 
because of the fire she spells. But that's gotta be it for this video, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me down, what do you think about her? About Kyra? Tell me down in the comments below, guys. So, peace out.